Hey, it's Luke at HIP, and if you've been listening to the Grow Ortho podcast maybe for weeks, months, or in some cases years, you know that we typically interview an industry expert, whether it be someone working in the office or a consultant uh, or just a strategic partner for orthodontist. Well, we're going to change things up just a bit. And this year we've actually released four books. And so we're going to release every audio book, basically a chapter for each episode. Listen, enjoy, and let us know what you find valuable and implement and what works well in your office. Thanks so much for supporting HIP. And we hope you enjoy all these episodes on the Practice Growth Series. Chapter 9. A Team That Benefits from the Patient Care Center. I want you to put yourself in your patient's shoes and walk into your practice to check in for your first appointment. The front desk team member is on the phone and raises her hand to you with the one-second gesture. She appears to be speaking to a disgruntled patient who can't find a time to bring in her son for his next visit. A patient who has just finished an appointment steps in line behind you to schedule their next appointment on their way out. The phones keep ringing and everyone in the lobby can hear them. It's your first time here. And now you're thinking, great, here we go again, another doctor's office. I hope I don't have to come back here too often. If the person at the desk was only focused on greeting people when they came in and rebooking those leaving, this situation could have been avoided. The solution is a call center or patient care center, as we like to call them. It can start with as few as two or three people, and you don't need a lot of space. Most importantly, you free up the front desk to provide the wow service that your patients deserve. Many orthodontists are opposed to the idea at first. They think of the typical stereotype of call centers outsourced to another country and feel that it is too impersonal for their practice. They fail to consider that their front desk team can't do everything at once and provide excellent service. Everyone wins by simply splitting the roles at the front desk to have people dedicated to greeting and rebooking patients and another set of people whose job is to handle incoming calls and provide a fantastic first impression of your practice to new leads. Is there a correlation between the highest grossing practices in the country and having a patient care center? Yes. When you separate calling and scheduling from greeting and patient care, check-in, scheduling future appointments, etc., your patient experience improves, your team satisfaction improves, and your production doubles. Happy employees equal happy patients. When you think about the service and the patient experience a patient care center would bring, you will add more value to your practice. You will let patients know that you care, that it's about them, not you, and they deserve your undivided attention. By ridding your front desk team of phone duty, they will be able to move more freely around the office, provide a better service to patients, and ultimately allow them to feel less stress and pressure while at work. The same goes for your patient care center team. They will have one designated role throughout their workday. Allowing them to quickly answer every call and get those important leads scheduled every time. A patient care center is vital for practices that have multiple locations and there is a need for a centralized team to handle the volume of calls for each location. If you want to see your practice grow from where it is currently to one that takes in multiple seven or eight figures of revenue every year, this is not a component you should overlook. Julie loves the addition of the patient care center in her office. Everyone on our team, like the front desk, clinic admin, and doctors, understands the value of the patient care center. We are opening up a fourth location now, so we had to add a centralized team that handles all phone calls. We opened it up at the beginning of the pandemic, and it's been the best thing for our practice. The patient care center took a lot of tasks away from the front desk. Since we have such a high volume of leads every day, the team can now focus on just answering the phones. And the people at the front desk now have more time to focus on the people in the office. It not only has made things easier to manage, but it has also made us better at teamwork. When one person needs help, another person can easily step in because that person is no longer bombarded with so many tasks. And I have to say, we can feel it now when the designated patient care center person isn't there. It's hectic. We're definitely really excited to see them when they walk through the doors. Alex has seen dramatic improvements in her patients' experiences. 
the patient care center has really taken the pressure off our front desk team. By creating an area in the practice that's solely for answering phone calls, we've been able to make a huge difference in our patients' experiences in the office and on the phone. We recently had a patient ask, where's the person I talked to on the phone? Because they just wanted to say hi and thank them for their awesome attitude and service. So many patients come in and say that we've made their day. We even had a patient send flowers to a girl working in our patient care center just because she went above and beyond and made her life easier. It's just really cool to see that kind of reaction. What if I can't afford it? If you're still concerned about the cost of bringing on and paying new employees to fill patient care center positions, then let me paint you a picture. You've decided to set one up in your practice and hired two people to fill those roles. You're paying a salary of $50,000 for each employee. You train them well with the materials we've provided you. And so far, they're doing a great job speaking with patients. Your front desk team is making a great impression on the patients in the office, and they seem happier since they aren't distracted by constant phone calls throughout the day. They're caring for your existing patients and keeping them happy. Your patient care center answers 98% of all inbound phone calls, and they've scheduled 50 leads each for new patient consultations within the last month. Let's fast forward to a year from now, and this trend has continued. Does an additional $100,000 matter to you now that you've tripled your revenue from last year? Probably not. We encourage our biggest practices to put a patient care center in place if they have not already. We recommend it to practices around the 2 to $3 million mark. It can be as simple as moving the person answering the phones to another room and respecting how busy she is scheduling new patients but it is not for everyone. Some people simply cannot wrap their heads around the fact that it is a call center and believe it is too impersonal for their practice. That's okay. You can still be successful and grow without one, but I consider it a best practice among the nation's fastest growing orthodontic practices. In the next chapter, we'll share some other best practices that you can use to elevate your team and office.